Welcome back, viewers, to Far Sky Part 3, and this is the review. Far Sky is a free indie game, first person underwater exploration roguelike game with some building aspects, and it's just in alpha. So when you start off, you're at the bottom of the ocean, not knowing what the hell you're doing there. You have a little quick look around, and there's a goddamn submarine. Very basic controls, WSD to walk around, space to jump slash flirt, and to look around use your mouse and left click to attack. Yes you can attack, you have two weapons, you have a knife and a harpoon, but I'm telling you now, you better use that harpoon boy. Why do I need to use that harpoon you may ask? Well, you better believe that there's gonna be enemies out there, there's jellyfish, sharks, bigger sharks, bigger bigger sharks, you're gonna poop your pants. In the previous alphas, there was two boss battles between a shell guy and a kraken, but those have been taken out in this current version, hopefully only to be tweaked and made better. Why would you want to kill them? It's because you're going to get some nice juicy fishy orbs off them, what you can use to upgrade your guy and your stats. Those stats consist of health, which lets you get your butt billing off a lot more by sharks, and we all know you love that. Pressure, which lets you get deeper and deeper without being in your submarine, and if you exit your submarine and your pressure isn't high enough, then you're gonna explode. And listen to me, it's not a good death. Attack, which lets you one-shot huge sharks and makes you feel like the champion you are. And energy, which lets your guy float for as long as he wants. If you have a little look at the top right corner of your screen, you're going to see a little radar there, which shows you oil, cogs, and chests. Oil, you need that for your submarine to float around, so if you run out, you're pretty much screwed. Cogs are to use to upgrade your ship and add more stuff into it. And the chests are full of ammunition what you need for your harpoon to shoot those sharks in the face, man. The deeper you go in the game, the more likely you're going to die, so make sure that your stats are a good amount before you go to the depths of the ocean, and it gets very dark, so be careful of them big-ass sharks coming out of the darkness. There are a few bugs in this game, though, some of which are, even though you're in your ship, as long as an enemy locks onto you before you enter your ship, they're still going to be able to attack you. When controlling the submarine and going through seaweed sharks or jellyfish, they actually clear through the ship what kind of ruins the immersion of you being underwater. Don't even think about going near those cliff edges because if you crash into them with your ship it's pretty much impossible to drive away because the collision areas of the cliff and the ship are a little bit off. And the worst of them is the fact that you can't save your game even if you don't die and you're doing great. If you leave the game you have to start a whole new game from the start and that's very annoying. Whilst playing this game I was having so much fun and I couldn't believe the amount of detail and attention what has gone into this game so far, the fact that it's an alpha, it's an indie game and it's totally free. This game has a great atmosphere and the whole time I was on my tippy toes because as soon as I heard a bit of water brush by, I was like, oh damn, there's a giant shark coming for me. So like I said, if you're not a fan of the horror or jump scares, you might not like this game because it is pretty intense the deeper you go. So the rating I'm going to give this is 6 out of 10, just because of the bugs and the fact that it's not finished. It definitely has potential to be an 8 out of 10. I will be making a video on my channel once this game is fully released and hopefully there's going to be a buttload more features because I really enjoyed my time playing this game. If you like my first look at Fast Guy and think you want more, make sure you subscribe to my channel because there's going to be some more first looks coming soon. And as always, like if you love me, subscribe to support me, check out all my links down below and leave a comment about the video. And if you want to be fabulous, favourite me. And I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace out.